action but how will all of these overnight queues impact our own markets we have our research team joining in with how the trade setup looks like the stocks that are likely to be in the news and of course the fno setup this morning first up vamakshi joins us to get all the market cues we need to watch out for today vamakshi good morning what's the setup looking like well, good morning, Hormaz. Uh, the setup does not look so good as of now. In fact, last week, uh, the bears dominated uh, the market. Negative cues such as the unwind of yen, scary trade, U.S. recession fears, all of those weighed on markets globally. Uh, Nifty, too, declined for the second consecutive week, and it has underperformed global benchmark indices. Nifty saw cuts of 1.42% uh, for the week gone by, as compared to Dow Jones, as well as S&P 500 and NASDAQ, which uh, traded with much lower cuts. Uh, in fact, in the week gone by, 37 out of 50 Nifty stocks ended in the red. We had Grassim, Tata Steel, BPCL, which were the top losers last week. But the bulls make, made a very strong comeback on Friday. Nifty outperformed broader indices. Nifty was up nearly 1%, uh, while Nifty mid-cap was up nearly 9 tenths of a percent. All sectoral uh, indices also advanced in the trading session on Friday with Nifty PSU Bank leading with gains of around 2%. Nifty Media, Auto, IT and Realty were all up over 1.5%. But uh, looking forward to today, Global queues, we will be watching out for OPEC's uh, monthly report, India's CPI data as well as the industrial production data. Uh, as far as earnings are concerned, a couple of earnings in focus, uh, Vodafone Idea, Volta, Suntech Realty, NMDC, IRFC, Hindustan Copper and Happiest Minds. Uh, as, uh, uh, on account of the Hindenburg and Adani saga that still continues, we will be watching out for Adani Group shares as well as 361 VAM. But as of now, the gift nifty is indicating a negative start. Amakshi, thanks a lot for that. A negative start, 45 points is the implied open as suggested by the GIF Nifty. Sudarshan now joins in with cues from the FNO space. Sudarshan, good morning. What is the setup looking like on the FNO side? Morning, Hama. So on Friday, we saw that like a big move in market led by like it was a like healthy global queues and we saw all the front end indices gaining somewhere in the range of one to two percent. But we'll have to see if we manage to build on to those gains because to, for today, Gift Nifty is indicating a start with minor cuts. Talking about institutional equities, we saw bar, buying figure by both FIs and DIs. FIs bought shares of almost 400 crore, while DIs bought shares of more than rupees 4,000 crore. In the index futures too, FIs bought shares of almost rupees 460 crore and have added long positions by 3,100 contacts and at the same time have cut short positions by almost almost 4,300 co contacts and this takes long exposure to 52% with net long position of more than 22,000. On the options front, on the call side, we saw major activities in 24,400 call where they have added 15.34 lakh shares with a premium at 135 and in 24,600 call, we have we saw addition of more than 11 lakh shares with a premium at 54. On the put side, major activities were seen in 24,200 and 24,000 strikes and this takes support for Nifty at 24,100 and resistance is, resistance is seen somewhere at 24,400. In the stocks, we we have now 15 stocks in band and with four new entrants. Those four new entrants are Bandhan Bank, Biocon, Grand News and Sale. Keep an eye on these stocks. Four new stocks in the FNO band. Sadarshan, thanks a lot for that update.